Oh, hi! Come on in. Welcome to Letty's Corner, where a house becomes a home. I've missed you, and I'm glad you're here because I have so many wonderful things to share with you. Today, we're going to talk about how to decorate your home with Goodwill finds and thrifting. We're going to talk about a couple of new products I want to share with you, and new items for decor from the Target Dollar Spot, as well as Hobby Lobby and Kirkland's, of course. So stick around here in Letty's Corner. All right, we're just gonna get right into this haul, and I have a variety of things I want to share with you. But first, we're gonna address the skunk in the room. <laughs> and let these corner, we keep it real. So it's been just a minute since I've had a chance to color, and so I want to share two things that I would consider beauty products, but highly necessary. Now, the first is a product called Clairol Root Touch Up, and it is a powder. And I'm gonna show you. This is we do real life here, okay? So this is a very well used and well loved product by me. It's tried and true. It's tested. So this is a great. It's a powder. And what you do when you want to deal with the white hairs between colorings is you just dab it on the white spots. And as you can see, they it kind of fades them out a little bit, right? So the thing I love about this product is it's really quick and easy to use. Plus, it buys you. It buys you a little time between colorings. When you reach a certain age, your hair grows out a lot faster. And I try to limit the amount of, of dye that I put in my hair for because obvious reasons. So this product gets me through. Um, the one thing you want to be sure to do when you're using this product is set it with hairspray, or you'll have a Rudy Giuliani moment. That I will say. <laughs> The other product is from L'Oreal. It's called Magic Root Cover Up, not sponsored. And this one is a spray. You might have seen it on television. You just spray it, and you kind of it adheres to the white hair, and then makes the grays disappear. So this will buy you at least two days. It also has the texture kind of like a leave or a dry shampoo. So. It also lets you go a couple of days between shampooing, which is really good for your scalp. So those are the two beauty products that I stand right now. The other product that we're going to talk about before we get into the decor is this Dawn Platinum Power Wash, and this product is all the ra the rage right now with people who do cleaning videos. So I wanted to test this out. And what I like about this, um, I like this for deep cleaning things. So when you have like, when you make tacos, for example, and if you have the pan that you need to clean out with the grease in it, you just squirt like four or five squirts of this, let it sit for a little bit, and then it takes care of the grease. I love this for that. The other thing I wanted to test it out for was um, I wanted to see if this was a good product to clean shoes. So I bought these Vans, which I love. They're at that sweet spot where they're super comfortable. They're nice and broken in. There's nothing wrong with them. There are no tears at all. But as you can see, um, I have worn them and I have loved them, and now I'm embarrassed to wear them. So I wanted a product that would help me take care of these shoes because I I do want to wear them more. And so this afternoon, I just thought I would do a little test. And this is the bef this is the aftershock. So I just did the top of the loafer, just this this part right here, and then this a little bit on the sides, and then you can see the difference between the side that I power washed and the side that I didn't. I just let this uh, sit out in the sun for uh, just a few minutes, and it got damp, dry. But you can see the difference; it's huge. So this is a great product to extend the life of your white shoes, which we desperately need here in Arizona because we like to wear white shoes for summer, really any time of year. But I really like this product for cleaning shoes. All right, now the rest of the products I'm going to share with you today are various products for decor, items of decor. That come from different stores, and we're going to start with the Target Dollar Spot. So we're in between seasons right now. These the items of decor coming out in the stores right now are going to be more for summertime. 
but the Target dollar spot right now, if you can find it, has these a lot of cool little things. I was um, lucky enough to get in there before they got picked over. And this is one that I really like. It's a storage tray and it's made out of like a rattan, I guess. It has two little handles on the side. And this was $3, I think. No, this was $5. But this is great because you can flip it upside down and it's sturdy enough to be um, a little riser. It gives a little bit of, of warmth and texture to anything that you would want to display that's elevated. You could also use it like on a bathroom tank with toilet paper, that would be cool. You could use it to corral items that you need to store. This has multiple uses and it's just a really nice sturdy little piece of decor. Find it at the dollar spot. At the Target dollar spot available right now are these Lazy Susans. This one I picked up for my makeup table. It's only $3. So my plan is to hit this with a, a stain to darken the color, but it's really nice naturally as it is. I've already tested it out this week on my makeup table and it's made my week easier because I can just spin it around and grab the products that I use every day. Nice little table. They also have these cute trays. This is so cute. This is $5. It um, is made of dowel, dowels and it has these little handles. This is super cute. I have it on a bench at the edge of my table and I decorate it with a little plant. And I have um, a little house that I put next to it. And it just it's just a cute little piece of decor. $3 at the Target dollar spot. Also at the Target dollar spot are these really cute ceramic planters. So for my summer decor, I'm gonna bring in pops of yellow because yellow is so cute for summer. And these are $5 and they come with a little stand. And you could either, if you have a green thumb, this would be so cute for a little live plant. I don't, so I like these little, um, these little, these are from Magnolia Home, also from Target. They're $4.99 and I have so many of these because they're great to just pop into a planter and they are really realistic. The Magnolia Home line um, puts out really great products and you can just put that in there and it looks like you have a green thumb. It livens things up, it's bright and fresh. Great for summer, $5 at the dark Target dollar spot. I also picked up these two little planters. This one is the same size, but I like the rounded edges. It has a pop of blue, $3. You can do the same idea. I'm going to do something by grouping this together with this one. This one was also $3, and this has multiple uses. They have a stopper on the bottom, so again, if you like live plants, this would be so cute. Um, maybe on a kitchen shelf with the plant, you can drain it. Um, you could also use this little bowl like um, near your door and throw your keys in here. Um, so it could be a bowl or a planter. I'm, I'm gonna work something out, some type of decor where I'm gonna stack these. So they stack nicely. This would be so cute. So I can't wait to, to figure out what to do with these, but nice affordable options at the Target dollar spot. The other Let's see, we're gonna move from there. Oh, wait, let me not forget these. These are also at the at the dollar spot. And these are for tiered trays, I think, or anywhere where you wanna put just something bright and cute. They're also ceramic and they have that little pattern that's um, that was put out with this set. Just a little fresh flowers. Super cute at the dollar spot. Um, the other things that I have collected or hauled from Target. This, um, these items that are like made of natural um, materials are going to be really popular. Right now you're gonna see lots of baskets, you're going to see lots of items that, that bring texture and warmth into your decor. And um, this is functional and it is also versatile. You can use it as a tote if you're you know, fashion oriented, but I'm going to use this to decorate my bench. Um, actually the one that I'm sitting on. And this is just a quick idea. You can 
throw a scarf into the end of it like this and then some greenery some flowers and stems and then you can just set it on the bench and it will look like you just came back from the farmer's market in your convertible Ah, bonito, bonito. All right, speaking of baskets, let's transition from handled baskets to wall baskets. Kirkland's has put out, is putting out these wonderful, cute baskets that have a hanger on the back. So I'm going to um, display these flowers I'm gonna hang them on uh, my barn door in my bedroom and make a flower arrangement. These baskets are, are big enough that you could, and they're also flat on the bottom. I'm gonna lean it so you can see. They're completely flat on the bottom, so if you have an area on the, on the floor, in a corner somewhere where you need just a little something, to warm up the space, you can actually sit this on the floor. It's nice and tall. Um, they don't stick out too far, so you can see the side profile. This is just, I just love this. I was really drawn to it for the warmth and versatility. You could also, again, put it on the floor with a throw blanket or a couple of throw blankets. Just super cute. I'm gonna have fun decorating with that. And the other items that I'm seeing a lot um, in different decor are the are, um, cutting boards. I got this one at Target and I also could not resist this one from Kirkland's. So again, the wood tones you're going to be seeing a lot of and you can mix these in the kitchen and they just, they're just really cute together or separate. You can also put them flat down flat somewhere Ooh, this one needs this one has been waiting for you see this one's been waiting for you for a while and needed to dust it you can set it on a surface in um, and create just a little look with it as a riser or just look how clean that looks I just like the look of that as well just for de decoration they're also functional they're cutting boards you can use to cut things <laughs> on or for decor Let's move on from there. Um, I've been kind of looking for things that I need um, to decorate my kitchen for the summer. And I found these really cute cups for, I think it was $9.99 at HomeGoods. And they have a bee theme. I'm going to be using a lot of yellow in my, in my decor for summer and I'm planning on displaying these on my mugs in the kitchen. These mugs on my, sorry, tear tray in the kitchen. They have these nice positive little sayings and they're just really cute. Inside, um, they have different colors as well. So I thought that was a really nice affordable option to decorate tear trays in the kitchen. Let's see the other thing I want to do. I'm going to leave that for the last couple of little lanterns right now if you're looking for lanterns to decorate at home Kirkland's is having a sale all of their lanterns are 40% off and what I'm going to do is move away from the tear trays for the kitchen for the summer and I'm going to use this lantern to decorate my kitchen table so I really like the distressed look of it, the beading here. It's nice and wide and deep. So my idea is going to involve a pitcher. And I like to decorate in groups of three. And again, one of these little plants from Target. They have them in the cement bases and also terracotta. And then I'm going to throw in a candle. Just like that, and that will be my centerpiece for my summer table. 
so cute. And this is so functional. You can do so many different things with it. And you can get it right now if you hurry to Kirkland's for 11, about $12 ish. So I'm recently gotten into thrifting and I'm so excited. It's like, I think probably like the way gamblers feel when they win their first jackpot. Um, I went in with no expectations. I really didn't know what I was looking for, just there to see what was there. And I found this canister. Um, there is an art I'm learning to thrifting. It, you kind of have to have an idea of what you're looking for in terms of your decor, and then you keep an eye out for it. And it narrows your focus because there can be so much in those stores that can distract you. So my tip is to have a list before you go so you know what to look out for and anything you find in addition is a bonus so i was looking i want to kind of expand my collection of white pottery i don't know why i'm, I'm really drawn to white pottery right now but i found this piece and this was an excellent find um right now this piece is really popular it comes from a line by ray dunn which is super popular with modern farmhouse decor. I like the look of the dimpled canister and what I like about these, they're just really cute. I like, I just, I really, I don't know, I'm really drawn to them. And they have a great functionality because you can use them to store food, they're food safe, or they're beautiful in decor. And you can flip them if you want just a plain look, or this is super cute too. And I looked this up on Mercari because I knew they're expensive. I got it for $5. Right now on Mercari, you can find them anywhere between 70 and 42. I mean, 17, no, 27 and 42 dollars. So uh, you could pay up to 42 dollars for this canister, and I got it for five dollars at the Goodwill. Yee! So excited about that! I also was on the hunt for an. Uh, ooh, I need to shine this up. An espresso espresso cup because I'm going to start experimenting with iced coffee drinks with my Nespresso maker. And this was 99 cents, it's so cute. And it looks really cute on the stand of my Nespresso, 99 cents at the Goodwill. The other um, thing that I found at the Goodwill that I was super excited about was this um, bowl, this mixing bowl. And the bottom says the Pampered Chef. So the, this is also a name brand bowl and it looks cute on my mixer and it's, it was, it's really functional and I paid $6 for it. Always love to find this. And now I'm addicted. I mean, I got to slow down because I, I really don't need any, any, any more decor, but you can't beat that. This, um, I also found this cute little stoneware um, kettle. It's a tea kettle and it didn't have a lid on it and so I thought about leaving it on the shelf but then I thought I like the yellow and this could look really cute in um, my summer decor so I brought it home and then I was playing around and I used this on my shelf for Easter so just popping a, a little um, a, an egg uh, some greenery and a little flower and it's super cute and this was three dollars at the Goodwill and the last thing, I told you I'm, I'm looking for pottery. Um, I also found this at the Goodwill for, I think I paid $6 for it. It's a pitcher, it's, I like the, just a white pitcher. And this has so many functions. You can use it for water if you want to, but obviously I'm going to probably put some greenery in it or just leave it in my lantern like I showed you. Goodwill, $6. I've really been into reading more about home decor lately, and this is one of two books that I would recommend if you're into the farmhouse style. Cozy White Cottage by Liz Marie Galvan, A Hundred Ways to Love the Feeling of Being Home. It really just spoke to me, and so far, I've really enjoyed looking at the way that this designer has brought in different pieces and, um, given you really great ideas for inspiration. You can buy this book on Amazon, and when you're done reading it, you can turn it on its side and actually use it in your decor to raise things up, sort of like a tray. You can put a corbel on it with a plant, for example, and 
that looks really cute like that. Or you can buy a couple of these books if you're interested in learning more about home decor and then just you know, use it on a bookshelf to decorate a bookshelf with a corbel like this. Great, great read so far. Lots of wonderful ideas. What I wanted to do today was to put on a show and tell with the haul of all the things I've collected that are going to brighten up my home. Hopefully you picked up some great ideas. If you did, I really would appreciate a like. And if you subscribe to my channel, you can see what I'm cooking up next for the summer here in Let These Corner. Mm -hmm.